This is Skull Fades. In this tutorial, I will be giving you my different techniques on how to do a skin fade with a hairstyle on top, preferably known as a gentleman's haircut. I start off by sectioning the hair, wetting the hair first, making sure my sections are very clean to ensure the proper style after the skin fade itself. As you can see right here, I am cleaning up the sides to leave bulk so the hair will actually lay in place. Now I'm taking quarter inch sections to inch sections and just trimming it. He only wanted a trim, so I didn't take too much off. Using the first section that I cut as my guideline, going back through the hair. Making sure my parts stay clean. Now cleaning up the bulk around the parado. Now that I have my top trimmed up, I will now be starting to section off the rest of the hair so it'll stay in place so I can start the actual fade. I start off by using my wall to take down some of the bulk, and this is a number four guard. Now I'm using my detachable outliner to start my very first guy line. The outliner detachable guard goes to skin and is very effective for cleaning up both on skin fades. So now that I have my skin and my first guy line, now I use my shavers to get it that much more to the skin. And these shavers actually helps the haircut last that much longer. My particular client right here has very thick hair and it grows very quick. So I know he definitely appreciates me using these shavers on him. Now for my second guy line. As you can see, I'm using the Andis Masters to create my second guy line, which is about a half an inch up and fully open. Now I go back to clean up and fade in my zero line, which is also known as my skin line, by closing my Andis Masters all the way and working my way up and also continuing to work my lever fully closed and open during the whole process of fading the skin line out. Now that I have my skin line faded out, I will continue fading up and using the number one guard, creating another half an inch guy line. Now that I have my number one guard guy line in place, I will continue fading up and using the number two guard to create another half an inch guy line. I like to call my steps the one, two, three steps because it's literally one guard, two guard, three guard, creating my guy line and blend and fade the rest of the guy lines in creating one transition. Now moving on to the number three guard, creating another half an inch guy line, I continue to blend upward. Now that I have my one, two, three guidelines, I will now start to blend all of my guidelines in, starting with the half guard to blend it in to the one, and then the number one guard fully open to blend it in to the two. Next is the number two guard fully open, blending it in to the number three. Now that I have all of my guidelines blended completely in, this must be the most important part of any clean fade, which is polishing. Polishing gives you the blurry fade effect. Now for a little bit of blow dry work, which creates the style that we're going for, and a little bit of product. And there you have it, a complete scope fade. Make sure you tune in for more, definitely more to come. Double tap, comment, and press that follow button. And appreciate everybody for tuning in and watching.